Hello everyone, this is Faye tuning in again. I'm so excited to talk about my thoughts on the new Dragoon playstyle. It's so good! I love it so much, the changes are so good. It made me switch from tank to DPS for the end game content. It also has the best looking Dragoon artifact gear in 14 in my opinion. Right, biggest changes that Dragoon got in 5.0. There's no pierce resistance debuff. Like, it's completely gone now. No more Dragoon plus Bard meta anymore. Personally, I think it's a good change. Now you have more options when it comes to job roles in party finders or in parties in general. So, what do I like and what I don't like? Lights. Heavy Fuss is gone. So, the 10% damage increase buff is transferred to Disembowel, which replaces the Pierce Resistance Down debuff. It makes combos and openers feel a lot more smoother. I was not happy that the buff lasted 24 seconds, but as of 5.01, it is increased to 30 seconds. Thank you, 14. So as you should see, let me just do Blood the Dragon. So that's your, pretty much your opener. So you do Disembowel and Chaos Fuss. So you see you have a damage dealt is increased to 30 seconds. So before, like a couple of days ago, it was 24 seconds, but now it's 30 seconds, which is really good. Yeah, so if you notice, Blood Dragon duration is 30 seconds now, once you reach level 78. So, honestly, at the moment, you pretty much never will run out of time in any battle now. So, like, if you notice, each time you use Blood Dragon, it goes straight to 30 seconds. <sighs> so good. In, well, at the moment, you pretty much will never run out of time, like, the timer will never run out. It just keeps the timer, like, ticking forever. The AoE damage is super strong in 4th roll for Dragoon in 5.0. So, you have at least, what, 3 actions that do AoE damage at the moment? And also one AoE, like, combo. So, let me demonstrate it. I need to wait an extra 40 seconds to get high jump up. So, and claw, move across. So, there we go. Mirage dive. And then this Gus called, I can never pronounce that, sorry. So, you have Nestron, as usual. So, you have three AoE actions that deal multiple hits to and uh, multiple damage to add. So you have Star Diver, you have Dragonfire Dive, and you also have Astron. And last of all, your free action combo. Doom Spike, then Sonic Fuss, then Corpion Torment. So Riding Fuss is the new action. So if you use either a second Reading Fuss or Fang and Claw, it changes into Riding Fuss and it does 40 more potency. So that, honestly, that means that you pretty much have, you have another ending combo. So, like, shown in my really bad plays, if you use Fang and Claw, oh wait, I think I've Make it screwed up. There we go. So it turns into Wide and Fuss if you do the combo successfully. Yeah, and the next change High Jump is super fast now. Like, really fast compared to the other three jumps that Dragoon have. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's the only action that provides Mirage Drive now, because Spy Shadow has been completely nerfed. Or 5.0. But on the bright side, you only need two stacks to activate Dragon Gauge now, which honestly I kind of prefer a lot more. So you always remember high jump, lower drive, and then now you have two stacks. And then you use your activate Dragon Gauge, and then you go all out. There were some dislikes, and I have two nitpicks about Dragoon for 5.0. Like, 
The two actions that have changed in 5.0, one is Spine Shatter Dive, again, now it's completely like a lot more weaker now. It's only used as a gap closer and also it lost its, like, its stun effect, so you can't use this to stun abs anymore. The only action that can stun abs are Leg Sweep, which is, yeah. Honestly, I only ever use that as a gap closer, but there are times in dungeons I always like to use it to stun enemies to help the tank a lot more. But the biggest ch game changer for Dragoon is, I say, is Elusive Jump. Now it no longer decreases enmity when used, so now it can't be used as an opener when you start your endgame content. You always use Elusive Jump. That way, There'll be you have no like you it literally decreases your enmity, so the tank has an easier way of putting the boss. It's nerfed, but hey, there are other options now. But yeah, I love playing as Dragoon even more now. My next goal is to get my Dragoon gear as high as possible for the Eden raid in two weeks' time. Yeah, that's my thoughts on Dragoon. I just love it. It's my favourite class in 14. I think I will always main like play for green when it comes to end game content now. Right, I'll see you guys next time. Laters!